It is January 31st, last day of the month. Dave and I are currently at a little trailer park, which is seems to be kind of what they call a place for like RV park kind of deal in Todos Santos. We were alerted to the presence of this little park by a lady that we met in one of the shops downtown. There's the view out the over the kitchen sink window. We're the only ones down on the bottom level. There's like a hill here and this bottom part where we're at is the no hookup zone. And then behind us up the hill here is where the people with full hookups park. It's super close to downtown and we can get on our bicycles and go for bicycle rides every day, which before where we were parked on the beach, the road there is so sandy that it's almost impossible to ride our bikes on it. We just don't have big enough tires or whatever to handle that. So uh, we were limited. We can only go for walks and stuff for exercise. And here it's bicycles, which we are about to hop on right now and go have some breakfast somewhere and get on the internet. Dave and I rode our bikes over to hopefully try to use the Wi-Fi that seems We've been told that because it's cloudy, cloudy in Baja, no, um, the Wi-Fi all over town's not working so hot. I understand that. Know how ours fluctuates with the weather at home? Anyway, we're at this lovely little place here. It's very cute. So in love with all of the color choices that everyone uses in paint in the buildings. Really awesome. Hi kitty kitty. Dave and I have been parked at the trailer park where we're at now for five days. And <clears throat> the reason we decided to stay here is because well the first day wasn't feeling that good and we thought it's nice just to be place and stay um, it's not quite as much you know messing around as moving um, then I got sick so we decided to stay a little longer it is February 4th 2018 I'm gonna give you a little tour back door of the trailer park where Dave and I are here is the method by which we mostly get into the truck camper, although here we have this ledge that is convenient for stepping onto the tailgate. This is the lower level where we have been parked. That is no hookups. Various people come and go. <laughs> Here are the fabulous steps leading to the upper level. And this is the most important part, the bathrooms. Here we have the most excellent shower that has hot water and a toilet and a sink. Then there's another shower right over that way, but it's not so fabulous. And then there's a toilet that's just a toilet in the uh, adjacent building. And now I'm gonna take care of why I came over here in the first place. Okay, now that that task is complete, there we are. Over here is where the proprietors live. This upper level has full hookups and there are many permanent 
like campers here that they leave them here all the time. Here we are back at steps. A couple of years ago, this place had a fire. <laughs> this used to be a palapa over the top of this and it is no longer there. And you can see the charring. You can also see charring on uh, some of the palm trees, such as that one. I guess uh, someone, so we were told, started a fire over there in the palm forest and it got out of hand, burned a bunch of stuff over here. Anyway, then after that, they also had a hurricane, which did a lot of damage here, and they are just now starting to get things cleaned back up. Here we are back at the truck camper. The clothesline. And there's Sam's the coffee grinder. <laughs> Dave's in here doing his duty. The most important thing of the morning. Which is beginning the coffee. Get water in there. The flame is happening. The water is heating. Here's our wonderful, lovely, we're so fortunate to have stainless steel French press because Dave broke the other one. Mm -hmm. And coffee beans which Dave just ground. Sugar, I don't use sugar in my coffee. We're on a bike ride up on the hill. I guess it's the south. This would be like the south part of town. Yeah, so downtown Toto Santos is like right over here. And then the town proper, I guess you would say, is nestled right here in this valley. We're trying to make our way to the beach. We've come to the end of where we can ride our box and Dave has a messed up foot. So we have to backtrack now. All because he's old. And we gotta go try to find the, the other road. But look at the, look at these places down here. Holy moly. Pretty, pretty crazy if you ask me. Here's the road that goes through the palm forest. We came down this way in the Toyota Echo last year. Right over there is where we were the first time on our bicycles, where we came to the dead end, at least dead end of the road. And here we are at the Pacific Ocean. Looks really calm today.
we've been having rain and kind of cloudy on and off cloudy days and it, it seems like it rains in the morning and then it kind of clears off and it's partly cloudy and then it gets sort of steamy it's it's not super hot but the humidity is high and the ocean has been very mellow hi puppy dogs hello hello doggy Oh, you're so pretty. You're a pretty dog, yeah. Okay, I may be a bit odd to some people, but I swear I could pick up every one of these little flat rocks, which I already have quite a collection that I picked up last time we were down here and take them home. It reminds me the colorations and stuff of like the whale skin, like the whales that are out here in the water. And it looks so similar. That's what it reminds me of. And then I like to uh, stack them into little, how do you call them, carns? I think I'm gonna make a video and put this on auto repeat and then I'll just sit and watch it like over and over again when I want to de-stress. <laughs> My derailleur ate itself on our trip back from uh, the place where we went to this morning or lunchtime to have lunch. It looks better than it did. It was bent. How was it bent? This has been all the way around. Yeah, I mean, I was riding it and all of a sudden it was like, and the chain, I looked down and just thought my chain had come off. Then Dave came over, I got off and he goes, oh my gosh, your derailleur is all twisted. It ate itself. <laughs> And so uh, he's been in the back. I don't know though. I don't, yeah, think, I don't know. I don't think that's repairable. <laughs> we'll see. I can probably get it pretty straight. We'll just see how it goes. I'm sure you can buy these. There's a there's at least one bike shop in town. Last year there was another one down there by the tomato farm area. Mm -hmm. So maybe if all else fails, I'll see if I can't get hooked up with a new one. Bummer. It is Sunday. It's February. 6th I believe or maybe the 5th I'd have to double check that anyway last night across this way here there was a children's birthday party that was really a rager they were playing music much louder than what you're hearing now over there I don't know if that's the cleanup crew going on or what but 
uh, till a little like after nine o'clock. The kids were still partying it up over there. Anyway, no big deal. Lots of uh, Disney songs in Spanish. So today is our last day at the trailer park for at least the time being. I plan on going and doing a little more exploring. Get us some on the beach time, hopefully. So we're doing some laundry, or I'm doing laundry. Dave's trying to fix the bike I mangled. And I just took all of this stuff into the shower with me. <laughs> this is called shower laundry. You take the bucket, take your soap, just start washing. Wash everything, rinse everything, clean yourself at the same time, and hang it all out to dry. And It's a very bright and sunny day, so hopefully that will all be dry very soon. Gonna do some more cleaning. I already this morning kind of took everything out and rearranged or again arranged the back of the truck, which we refer to as our closet. So while we've been parked here, some a lot of random stuff's been getting tossed through the pass-through window in there. Anyway, that's all straightened out again. Maybe do a little cleanup inside the camper, fill up our water tank, and we're going to be hitting a grocery store before we get out of here this town.